We're nomads. Our life is about being on the move. Our whole life is centered on that. Everything centers around being on the move. When we were some people thousands of years ago, when we were a tribal people and we moved into groups, we did everything on the move. Uh, women had their children on the move. We held meetings on the move. We made decisions, uh, debated things and everything on the move. Uh, we could make camp and strike a camp in no time and break a camp in no time. Now that was our defense. Our defense uh, was our, ex our, our extreme uh, uh, versatility and ability to move. Uh, we didn't fight, uh, we ran. And we were good at it, we were the best. And it was a beautiful way of life. But it required a lot of space. And as the space started to be consumed by uh, uh, increasing numbers of organized people, uh, uh, our ability uh, to escape them uh, was uh, uh, constantly diminished. Uh, we were losing the space. And uh, when it got bad enough, uh, it got bad for us and we were wiped out. They got rid of us. Uh, uh, they didn't want us uh, around. Because we were a bad example, we couldn't be controlled. Uh, we couldn't be put into, uh, into a labor force and used. Uh, we were free. Uh, we were a free people, we truly were. Uh, <clears throat> we depended entirely on the landscape and our understanding of it. And we knew it like uh, the back of our hand. Uh, we knew every nook and cranny. Uh, we ranged over a huge area and we knew every square inch of it and we knew how to, exp uh, to use it and uh, resource it to the max. Uh, but we lived in balance with it. It was everything to us. And uh, we were independent of the uh, man-made world. We were totally independent of it. And uh, it sought to get rid of us. Uh, and it, it, it did, eventually, because we ran out of space. Uh, their numbers kept increasing. And as their numbers increased, uh, they were able to hunt us down. And they did. Uh, we were wiped out as a tribal people living in a group. But uh, we weren't wiped out. And uh, we're still here. We're all over the world. Uh, we materialized, we rematerialized. Our energy was so strong. Uh, the energy we carried with us from our way of life had become so strong uh, that uh, we just uh, materialized, that energy materialized in, uh, into a different process and a different way of being on this earth. It couldn't be destroyed. And so uh, we're all over the world. We always have been. Uh, I'm here. Uh, this encounter with Mr. Chen, uh, this Chinese gentleman that's ridden his bicycle all the way across Europe, uh, the continent of the United States twice, uh, and is going uh, into South America next. Uh, he's an example. And then this, uh, we've, we've crossed each other's paths uh, uh, twice now. Uh, the first time, uh, his physical presence uh, crossed our path. Uh, it wasn't a, uh, an hour or so uh, before uh, he crossed right under our nose. Had we known he was there, we would have met him. Uh, but we didn't because we didn't know where he was. But uh, as hindsight uh, showed us, uh, he crossed uh, under... Uh, right below where we were uh, spending the night, spent the day. Uh, we got up that day and we left uh, and we got down on the road, but he had passed us an hour before. And that's how close our energy came. And then this last encounter, uh, uh, what was that town? Willows. Uh, we got to Willows 
and uh, we got on, uh, we went through Willows, and we got out on Highway 99, and we were traveling down 99 uh, side of the road, and we came to a grassy area on the side of the road, and we stopped there, and I let the mules graze, and uh, I was sitting there uh, watching them uh, graze, and this gentleman came up uh, named Omar, and uh, we, he was asking us uh, where we came, where we were from, and all that. And so we got in a conversation, and it wasn't too long that he mentioned uh, this Chinese gentleman, uh, Mr. Chen. And uh, I was aware of him, of course. And uh, so it turns out that Mr. Chen uh, stopped exactly where we stopped. Uh, he stopped there, and uh, Omar met him and took his picture. Uh, he, Omar has his picture. It's on our Facebook page, website. Uh, Omar uh, took a picture of himself and Mr. Chen in the very spot uh, where we had stopped to graze for grass. And so uh, Mr. Chen uh, carries the energy uh, of that time past. And uh, here we are uh, meeting each other in these most uh, strangest of ways. And uh, so uh, this life uh, that we're living is truly a magical existence. And uh, we do not uh, intend to lose it. And 